This is Coon Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Box Park here for the, the Sharp Wembley Ovo Arena, this Saturday Night Live and Sky Sports. Now, the last time we spoke, at the, was it the O2? No, it was in Manchester. No, where was it? Oh, we, were, we were in Leeds and then we were down in London. London, okay. So, Get yeah, yeah. So I was kind of getting the indication that not that you'd had enough, but you just obviously fought that night. But you felt like you'd kind of come to a point where you thought you want to keep doing this anymore, etc. So what, what's kind of changed between then and now? I think I was frustrated. Um, because I like to think the general public know by now I'm a little bit of a warrior and I can take more than a few punches. Um, not that that's the aim, but I was upset with the stoppage and my son was upset with the stoppage and it just meant a suspension and I lost a um, fight in New York on the 28th of May, which I'd been really looking forward to, obviously, because it's New York and it's boxing. Um, and I missed it by two days. So, But when we got the phone call about this, I was like, you know what, head back in the game. You love what you do for a living, just crack on. You're so much better than your record depicts because you're fighting champs and they are all world level at the moment. So I'm falling short against the world. I can take that. <laughs> I mean, where do you draw the line though with, you know, you listen, we speak about this every time I interview. We don't need to reel off a long list of names. Everyone knows you, knows who you've been in the ring with. But where do you draw the line of kind of, some of those fights, like I said, you've you've done better than, like you said, the the record suggests or the loss suggests. But where you draw the line to think I'm either not going to get my break or this isn't really what I want to do. But you just love fighting, so does that come into it more yeah. so? Well, we spoke about it last time, didn't we? So I absolutely love what I do, and I do think I've just created my own role for myself now because I was never going to be a walkover or a journeywoman, but. At the same time, Absolutely. I'm British and Commonwealth level, so not world level. Richard so Richard if they want to get through to the, the top ranks there. of the pros, and they've got to come through me. And uh, I've got what? A year and a half, two years and left. I'm going to make the Dominic absolute Indian. most of it. Ebony Jones uh, stands in your way uh, this Saturday at Wembley Arena. How much of Ebony have you seen? Um, she's had two fights, I think, that I've seen. Uh, obviously, I'm a big fan of the Greek girl, Effie. I think she's excellent. Um, so I don't know. Oh, she fought Varda, didn't she? Oh, I fought Varda as well. So we both went in the distance. Varda's cool as well. All these girls are cool. Um, I think this time, because her fitness kind of showed up a little bit last time I felt during the fight. So I think she's going to come out really, really well trained and fit. Um, because that was probably her weakness. So I don't think it's going to be a weakness this time, but it's, I'm always like that's my that's my thing like the engine the engine's always there so I don't know if I was her I'd come out a million miles an hour and try and stop me in the first couple of rounds throwing everything but um, giving her advice are you yeah that's what I'd try and do but we're prepared for that because that's what we thought you'd try and do <laughs> uh, how's the landlord situation currently yeah, he didn't take your offer of let her just box and don't pay rent. <laughs> yeah, um, so the last fight, at least, that paid all the bills, so um, that's good. So as much as it was upsetting, it served a purpose. And I had a cracking time, to be fair, like, um, oh, it's not MTK anymore, is it? It's, what's Lee's company now? Lee's uh, Let's Go. Let's Go. Let's Go. Yeah, I really like Let's Go. <laughs> Um, all right, well, listen, um, yeah, a couple of days away now. You've been here, you've done it, you've probably got a few T-shirts now. But, um, yeah, go and do your thing. Listen, if, as long as you still want to do it and you're healthy, all good, brain intact, etc., then all good. I, I don't think the brain was ever intact to start with. But, uh, I can't say that. That's for you to say that. <laughs> but, yeah, we're having a great time. And I like my team now, and, yeah, we're just going to finish it on a high. Got anything else you'd like to add? No, I'm all good, except for the hotel's a bit rubbish. <laughs> all right, OK. Uh, Beck, thank you for your time as always, and uh, we'll grab a word of you after your fight on Saturday night, so best of luck. Thank you, Dar. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act.
Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.